I should be saying Monday, but I didn't vlog yesterday. So happy Tuesday. Today is the first day of a new vlog or this week's vlog. Um, yesterday I didn't vlog because literally it was like storming. I'm going to stop saying literally because y'all got on me last time for saying literally and I just can't help it. I just literally can't stop saying literally. But anyways, um, it was storming yesterday. So I stayed in bed all day, which was so great. I have not been able to do that in weeks. So I stayed in the bed. So... Today I finally got up. I recorded some content. I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm gonna about to, I'm about to um, edit. I have like three or four videos that need to be edited by this week, so I need to get on it, okay? And I did this look today. Oh, let me fix my hair. I did this look today. Super bomb. Oh my gosh, I love it. This hair is from, um, or this wig is from RPG Show, and y'all know I stand RPG Show wigs, honey. So um, I just got a few packages in the mail all right put it away hold on sorry guys my um camera was dying but today's just been such a good day it's really gloomy which is really bringing my mood down which is like i was like girl you have to get up and you need to record and you need to get yourself together and just feel like yourself because this ain't it and my mom made oxtail oh my gosh perfect gloomy day meal so i'm nice and full i got a picture out today i finished my content it's just a really good day so um yeah, I finally got this package in the mail. So, you guys remember the um, Saint fragrances? Love the, well, this is the, the scent, Saint. Um, I had actually ordered this, but I was on PR. I received the PR package, but I had already purchased this. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to give this away in my um, fragrance video. Because if you're watching this, the giveaway is either still going on or it already happen but i'm gonna be doing a giveaway i'm gonna be giving away a few fragrances and possibly a gift card um when i do my perfume collection i just feel like it's been long awaited so i owe you guys i haven't done a giveaway in a long time nor have i done a giveaway on this channel yet so i'm gonna definitely do that but um yeah i was like well even though i already have this i still want it because i want to give it away because this smells amazing saint is one of my favorite ones so it was saint angel and then spence which i did not buy now my memory card is getting full what the heck and you guys saint i mean spence oh my god it anyways i'm clearly having technical difficulties today but um i had to clear up this memory card but you guys spence smells so good this is so up my alley and i've kind of been thinking about getting the um kim kardashian ones they look like they're in a little like clay vase vase um they're in a collab with somebody um Aaliyah just got them all three of them and i'm like oh i kind of want to get them but like i don't know what they smell like so i'm gonna wait till i see her and then i'm gonna smell them and then i'm gonna decide if i want to get them hey um but yeah so super excited about that so i think tomorrow i want i don't know it's just so gloomy i've just been kind of like eh, not in the mood but hopefully tomorrow i'm able to record my perfume collection because i have all my fragrances um and now i'm in action and i need to like write notes tonight so that i'm not like rambling and saying literally and basically every five seconds giving you guys all the notes all the tea so look out for that that's gonna be out before this i have to make that a priority that that's gonna be out and if it's not you guys can literally just slap me on my hand okay so i got this package too and i'm like what the heck is this but you guys i forgot i ordered some purses from sheen so y'all know how that goes we're gonna see how these look in person child because i need some bags i need some bags i need some bags what a bag it what a bag it so i got this um denim per you guys know i'm a sucker for denim okay i love denim so i got this denim bag i know they have one similar um to this on zara but it's nowhere on the zara site so i was like you know what we finna sheen it up and it's actually not terrible wow i love that it's big okay i'm not mad at it this is cute it's a little like fit <laughs> You're talking that you cough and like okay anyways we're just gonna act like that didn't happen so it's a little pillowy but like i like it i like how big it is it's super deep 
I love, 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 love this. It's so cute. I like this. I wish the chain wasn't so yellow goldish, but it's still a cute little moment. I just need bags to go on my outfits for this content, honey, because I've been slacking on my Instagram content. I do not take pictures anymore. I'd be like, mm -hmm. I'm good, love. Um, There is, okay, I don't know if you've heard of, let me make sure I'm saying his name right. Brandon Blackwood, he sells like the little, bo the box, the sorry, the trunk bags. I need this. I have to get this bag. It comes out on the 10th and I'm like, that's going to go so good with my Tom Ford shoes because I'm honestly not paying for a bag bag right now. Um, and I don't even see any cute denim bags that I like that are worth me buying, but this one I really like. So I want to get this in this color either red or pink or yellow or all of them and then i kind of want one of his um bucket bags too i think the bucket bag is really cute so i kind of want a few of those and they're pretty like you know affordable like the red is super cute like i don't have a red bag and i feel like a red bag every woman needs a red bag um but um his bags are pretty affordable like the denim trunk bag is like 160 and i feel like that's a that's a reasonable price for a bag so i'm definitely going to support hopefully i can get what i want on the 10th because i'm gonna be up on that site okay monday's my day off either so no no distractions no none of that okay okay period so anyways <laughs> so next i got this other bag <sighs> what is this she is so ratchet look at how they telling you how to return and ship a label bag I can't even see what that says. Anyways, so I got this other little bag and this bag actually looks like um, this little Alexander Wang bag that they had. Um, I don't know if it looks like it exactly in person. The strap, I hate when you be getting bags and the strap be having a little dents in them. Going like, dude, I'm like, dude, I need my bag to be nice and crisp. Thank you so much. But this is so cute. Like, I don't have any, like, black and silvery kind of bags. And I feel like everything has gold on it. And then, like, my watch, I wear a lot. Of, I wear my JBW watch a lot now. And it's silver. I have a lot of silver jewelry. So I'm, like, I'm constantly, like, mixing metals, which isn't a big deal. But I would prefer everything to be, like, cohesive, you know? So, um... I think this would be super cute with the Steve Madden shoes that I just got. And the Steve Madden shoes actually are like a bootleg version of the Alexander Wang. So, you know, we just doing what we do over here, okay? Period. And I was actually still looking online for the um, Alexander Wang shoes in my size and they do not sell them anywhere. Like, I do not know that they were that happening. Well, I knew, but like, they're really old. So, I'm just like, whatever. Anyways, moving along. Then I got, I don't even remember what I bought now, now I see. Then I got this other little like bucket bag. I think this is super cute. I can definitely do without the pearls. I'll probably pop this off. I see where they were going with that, but no. But I definitely love me a bucket bag moment. I still want to buy that Fendi bucket bag, but I'm like, Tasha, why do you need that? Do you have other things going on right now, ma'am? But yeah, this is super cute or it can be in it. <laughs> Why am I trying to hate these bags so much? Ain't nothing wrong with these bags. Um, and it comes with a long chain too. So I do like that. You can wear it different ways. And the hardware on it isn't terrible. Well, the, t the chain isn't. This is kind of like plasticky, but it's not bad. But I really do like this one. So super duper cute. And I need it like, a, it's like an off-white. It's not white-white and it's not nude right in the middle so it will fit right in and then lastly and i think i don't even think i paid like 60 dollars in total for all these bags which is really good because honestly bags are out of pocket then i got me a bozega <laughs> y'all be dying when i say bozega but like i'm dead serious um you know they have like this little like it's very much a vacay bag brunchy bag um daytime bag so i think this is cute though it's a little oh i thought i had a scratch on it um but yeah it's very cute you know what i'm saying very mm. so um it's a little flat we're gonna we're gonna put something in it but i do like the bags i'm actually really pleased with the bags that i got so now i can finally put my outfits together get some content 
because you guys i have no bags like i don't know like i don't be buying purses like that and honestly purses are too damn expensive and i am not rich so um yeah tasha is not spending thousands of dollars on a bag every other week no ma'am not over here so yeah i got a nice little collection going um but that's pretty much it right now i just posted this picture like literally how many minutes ago literally 20 minutes ago so i need to sit and i need to respond to these comments yeah i just posted this picture like 20 minutes ago so i need to start responding to comments because if you respond to comments while you just posted it it will stay like in the algorithm and more people will see it and you'll continue to get likes it's a proven fact because when i slack on my pictures and don't comment and interact it just declines but when i keep commenting and stuff it does good so that is what we're doing but other than that that's it and then i'm trying to figure out what okay you guys i just have so much going on in my head right now you guys I have so much going on so remember i got these um got these wigs from Jaque Monet it's Jaque I kept saying Jackie is Jaque I'm terrible with names so I have this wig this is probably gonna be the last one that I wear I'm not sure yet I'm still trying to figure out because it has a streaks in it and I, I just want something really cute to go with this like I really 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 do like it's like kind of gray grungy and it's a closure and the closure is fire I just love how it's laying oh I'm in love but this one the blonde one I'm feeling like I should do the 70s thing with this because it's already cut she like cut the bang layers really short already so I'm like if I just like part it in the middle and like cut it a little bit more and cut it a little bit more and flip my hair I may be able to do this so this might be a next week thing because I'm on a schedule this week but tomorrow baby we're gonna be ginger and I'm really excited so I cannot wait um so i'm gonna do it basically in the order that i showed you i don't know why i asked when i knew what i was doing and then for all you guys that keep asking where these are from i actually bought two of these from her too because i love these so much like these are so convenient you can definitely wash them and you know keep it in rotation but i just was like let me i do wigs so much i need to have them on deck so this is now i have three of these but these are also on her website as well i would try to leave that below you guys know how i am with the description box don't bully me okay don't bully me but in case i don't leave it in the description box this is the website okay okay <laughs> but oh my gosh let me tell you what happened today and i kind of feel bad i don't like to like bash anybody or talk bad about you know anyways it just is what it is let me just tell y'all what's going on so you know since the last time i talked to you guys like sat down and talked to you guys about work i told you guys how i was really frustrated with work because i just feel like the no call no shows were just becoming very excessive i couldn't take it anymore and i didn't know what to do and a lot of you guys said tasha take deposits i do take deposits i have been taking deposits for the last four years no don't nobody book an appointment with me without paying a deposit unless you're like a real regular client or you're somebody i know but for the most part everybody gets directed to my site everybody pays a deposit so in theory you would think that okay they're paying a deposit so they're gonna show up no that's not that's that's where the frustration is coming in so hella people will like book their appointments and they'll just not show up so i had to implement another rule within them having to book on the site pay a deposit and all that so now i have an assistant and basically she sends out confirmation texts at least 48 hours before you have 24 hours no you have until 24 hours before your your scheduled appointment that you booked to um <laughs> to confirm your appointment like even though she's even if she sends it out on a monday and your appointment's on friday you have until thursday to cancel or confirm or whatever but she typically sends it out only two days before because that's very excessive just to save me time and energy and all that because clearly they like to waste my time and whatever so i don't know what's in the water this week but literally people are like i didn't get a okay so she cancels the appointment if it's not confirmed because she's texting a number that you left it's been posted on my page multiple times it's on my booking site that you are supposed to confirm so you know that you're supposed to confirm point blank period so she's um canceling the appointments 
after the allotted time and the girls are mad i'm like baby you literally are the one not confirming your appointment and then you didn't get a text but you're texting the same number that texted you to confirm the appointment but you didn't get a text y'all it's been crazy so i know there's a lot of people who have been booking with me that probably hate me right now and i'm so sorry but honestly at the end of the day i've had a long conversation with plenty of people plenty of friends that have businesses my mom all types of stuff and at the end of the day i have to establish a business i want to be nice and i'd be feeling so bad when i cancel and i'm like no you can't come but people need to learn to read people need to learn to pay attention and to respect my business if you have a doctor's appointment and you do not confirm your your appointment is going to be canceled and it's going to be charged dentist therapist all that same rules apply so you don't need to waste anybody's time because somebody could have easily wanted your slot somebody always wants a slot <laughs> don't let my consistency fool y'all i'm booked a busy baby okay and i say that in the most humble way all the time like there's always somebody that's gonna want somebody's spot so it's just like respect my business and respect my time like i respect yours i never not show up to anybody's appointment and never and if i ever have it's been because i genuinely forgot which is rare and i'm so apologetic and chances are if i've ever forgot to make it to your appointment and i was hella late because of that i did not charge you for your service so i respect people's time and all that so I want the same thing reciprocated. So I just have to get it off my chest and update y'all because I think I said that a few weeks ago and like literally all the comments are saying the same thing. And I was like, I do take deposits and they don't care. But anyway, Sha. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it. The way Santana did it have me dying. I cannot. Um. Anyways. So, this wig is gorgeous, you guys. This, this was fun. This was fun. But you guys always ask me too, like, Tasha, do you really take your wigs off after you're done? Yes. <laughs> unless I have somewhere to go or unless I did my hair specifically for the next day. Like, I really want to keep this in, but I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, I did that, though. I did that. Okay. It's not giving right now, but it's giving. It's definitely giving. I love how like effortless this is and I can like flip it here, flip it there. I just love effortless hair. Like I don't like super curled hair. I just love that like almost messy kind of hair. Sorry for my um stains on my shirt. Don't act like you only have stains on your shirt too, sis. So basically what I do, I take my spray bottle and I just spray the perimeter of my hair because the adhesive that I used was literally like a water. You could take it off with water. So that's my wig. And I literally have my wig on for a few hours. Take it off. I do my content for the day. And that's it. That's all, guys. That's all. I'm gonna take my makeup off, take these earrings off. I'm gonna do my face routine for the night. I kind of want to do a mask, but then I kind of did one already earlier, so I don't know. I did the glam glow earlier, the brightening one, and I actually really liked it. And then after this, I'm gonna edit for the rest of the night. I think it's like set, probably eight o'clock now, eight thirty-nine. I haven't looked at the clock in a minute, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna edit for the rest of the night and then wake up and I have two videos to film tomorrow. So, we'll see how that goes. So, I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. Um, I'm gonna be using my, what is this called? Oh, I got makeup all over it. Gross. But anyways, I'm going to be using my um, Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I have been using this and I love it so, so much. But this is a tea. Unless I'm wearing makeup, I only wash my face once a day. So like, well typically I wear makeup because I record. But if I do my skincare routine at night, I literally don't do anything in the morning. 
and you're really not supposed to. That's always been something that I've done. I realize when you wash your face too much, it strips your face, the oil. So you gotta really let your skincare and stuff like sink into your skin like for hours, you know? I'm no esthetician, but that's what I've been told. And it even says that on the, on the back of this, um, on the back of this, it even says that. It says we recommend skipping the morning cleanse as it's not necessary if you've cleansed the night before. So, I was actually really shocked to see that because I typically don't wash my face morning and night, again, unless I'm wearing makeup because it's just not necessary. Your face is not dirty, bro. It shouldn't be. Unless you sweat and stuff. And if you do sweat, I would recommend getting probably like facial wipes, cleanse, cleansing wipes um, that will just kind of rejuvenate and refresh your face without stripping it. That's a good thing to use too. I know, um, oh, what is that brand? Oh my gosh, they even sell them. But they sell cleansing wipes. They sell them really for people who like work out and stuff, or people who sleep. I would definitely look into that. But also when I wash my face too much, I realize that my um, skin starts to feel raw. So that girl, I do not be doing that to my face. But now that we've done that, just gonna dry my face. And I know a lot of people have told me to use a cleansing balm, but I just prefer to use my wipes because it gets in the corners. It just does what I need her to do. So, where's my skincare? So I got my little skincare tote. I keep all my drunk elephant stuff in here because it just makes things a lot easier. So first things first, I don't eat your brain. I'm gonna start rubbing gold teeth and fangs. Kidding. Um, I'm going to use my eye cream. This is the C Tangle Multivitamin Eye Cream. Oh my gosh, did, look at y'all. My wig cap had a huge hole in it. Anyways, um, I used this first. I didn't know I needed an eye cream until I started consistently using one. I feel like eye creams are more preventative than they are. Um, like, okay, a lot of people when they get older, they want to use eye creams and get rid of their crow's feet and stuff. But honestly, at that point, it's too late. If you use eye creams at a younger age before you get bags or before you get crow f crow's feet, you're less likely, they won't be as severe. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna get them, but it's not gonna be as severe. But if you already have them and you're trying to do that, baby. Mm -hmm. The only thing I haven't used out of this is the retinol cream. And I know this is something that I should probably definitely be using because I have dark spots. But I just feel like when I use too much retinol, my skin feels so light. It's my, my skin is too sensitive for it. I don't have sensitive skin. My skin is very sensitive to like vitamin C, anything too brightening anything that lightens my skin literally starts to feel raw so the fact that my skin has gotten this much better without me using anything that necessarily brightens or get rid of the dark spots i'm here for it i'm here for it all so once i use that i kind of like rotate in between which serums and stuff i use um i use the vitamin c one sometimes for bed because it's brightening, so I want my skin to brighten. But I use this no more than two times a week, again, because vitamin C makes my skin very sensitive. It's a little too much. And then I'll use the um, TLC one. This one has raspberry extract, extract, sorry, abstract, extract. So I use this. Yeah, I use this tonight. I'm like debating if I want to use it. Mm -hmm. But I don't really know what this one does refine and retexturize. I guess this was a minimal texture. And then I will mix these two together. It's a moisturizer and a hydrating serum. And sometimes I'll use the oil, but that's very rare. I don't really like oil on my face. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put on some lip stuff and go to bed. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning guys. So today is now Wednesday 
yes it is yes indeed and um i just had an epiphany i oh my lines I was about to go to Starbucks and I'm like, you know what, Tasha? No, you're not. That's not necessary. So I'm about to take my daily supplements. Okay. I'm actually supposed to have a vlog up today, but it's not happening. Maybe tomorrow. A bit this week, though. I forgot to get on schedule with this vlogging. It's so hard. Vlogging. Vlogs are the most tedious videos to edit because, like, I can't just be putting everything in the vlog. I might have shown my address, my house. I may have said something I wasn't supposed to or y'all can't hear. Somebody might have said something in the background that, again, y'all cannot hear. Not your business. It just be a lot. So, mm hmm working on that but i'm gonna start probably vlogging just daily i remember Aaliyah said she does it like day by day and she um vlog she edits the vlogs at the end of the day so i'll maybe try that why are you looking all up in my room i live with my brother's friend i don't know this boy literally just passed my way. I just opened my blinds. He literally was like, what's what I'm talking about? I hate being on this ground level. That's a wrap. But anyways, I was, oh yeah, I was going to go to Starbucks, but I just decided to drink my artist's garden because I really, it's crazy. I go to Starbucks out of habit, but like, I don't really like it anymore like that. Maybe I need to switch up my drink or something, but it does nothing for me. The extra caramel does nothing for me. Like it's not satisfying. It feels gross. Like maybe I would drink it once in a while, but overall it's just not my forte, y'all. I'm not into it. I'm about to record. Hopefully I get to take a picture today. I've, I've, I haven't been able to take a picture all week. And in my head I had, um, well, I'm gonna show you my outfits that I wanted to take pictures in this week. In my head, um, I was gonna take a picture of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so now, and Thursday, so now I feel like I might have to like double up. What's today, Wednesday? Yeah, I might have to double up and then take some pictures tomorrow too. But I also have work tomorrow, so I really don't like filming content when I have work. It just becomes very chaotic, and I don't know, you guys. I have two videos to film today. Um, I've been doing good, well, yesterday's only Tuesday. I didn't work on Monday. Um, so yesterday I filmed a video for this channel and a video for my other channel and today I'm planning on doing the same Well, no I'm just filming for this channel. So I have this ginger wig that was made for me by Jaquay and um, I need to put this on because I've been wanting to serve a look but I still am going to do two so I'm going to do this hair video on this channel and then My makeup as well and then um do my fragrance haul so i need to get it together because i feel like the fragrance video is going to take a while it's a lot of talking and i have to install my wig do my makeup so that's where we at with it okay oh here's my tweezer i've been looking for this tweezer for weeks y'all look at baby tasha oh my gosh i literally look the same <laughs> this was um i think this was a fourth grade Pretty sure that was a fourth grade, if I'm not mistaken. So young. Oh my gosh, my camera is not charged. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, wish me luck on this content journey today. Two videos, and I'm going to try to get a picture in today. You feel me? So I will talk to you guys later. You guys, the copper ginger hair is a moment. I love it. This one's staying in my collection, so don't ask me if this is for sale, because it ain't. It's not, okay? So, um, I this is like the perfect color for me. Personally, I just feel like it just looks so good. It's subtle, but it still has a pop. I feel like the lace looks decent. Um, I put a little bit too much powder, but before I did that, the lace was literally melted. So, like, 
Next install is going to be even more popping, but it looks so great. I got this from ja Jaque. I keep saying Jackie. Jaque, I will leave all her information down below. And I did do a full get ready with me. So, um, well, I wasn't going to do a full get ready with me, but Aaliyah texted. And she was like, it's Cinco de Mayo. Let's get like drinks and food. Or she really said food, not drinks. Um, <laughs> I just always have to take it there. Um, so we're going out. So I just did a cash get ready with me. I think it's really cute though. I'm about to take a picture because I have these jeans. My uncle custom made these jeans for me. He like manufactures jeans. So I will leave the link for those below. They fit great. I love them. I, everything is just working out today. But I just got a freaking package at my door. So I need to show y'all what I got. I didn't even finish my get ready with me yet. I just kind of paused. But um. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So. Okay, so I just got my B Taylor um, package and I literally just ordered this on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. I ordered this and it's already here. It's Wednesday. I, th I wanna say it was Saturday that I ordered this because she had a sale and it was like 20% off lippies and I was like, let me go ahead and get what I can while I can. So I got, um, how many did I get? Ooh, 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 I think I got like four. Well, no, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So I got five lippies and they cost $61.50, which I don't think is bad because you guys know I actually really love her lip glosses. Um, oh, there's the other one. I love her lip glosses, so I stock up when I can. They're originally $12.50 each before the, um, discount but i love them you guys have seen me use these plenty of times and then i got this big package i'm like 90 percent sure that this is my skims order and if it is oh my gosh oh my gosh i got my skims order y'all i placed a huge skims order that time was like 600 dollars. thanks a lot Aaliyah, because i watched her video and i was like i need everything now so I got a lot of the sleep collection that she just came out with, some of the Fits Everybody collection. So I'm super excited because I needed some loungewear because I've been looking real busted at home and I'm home a lot. So I wanted some cute at home clothes. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can see when I do my haul. I might just go ahead and do it tomorrow. Who knows? I've been feeling real skinny this week. So who knows? Okay. So um, I'm about to finish this video and then... Yeah, that's it. Look who I'm with. Yeah. Oh, oh, say hi. <laughs> uh, we are at this restaurant and I El Don. El Don. We got our margaritas. And I have nothing to do. I really one of many. But I stepped in. One of one. It's great. We can ask. Say hi to you. Hey. Guess who got a new job? Ooh, don't tell nobody yet. Oh, don't tell nobody? Okay, I'm gonna edit it out. Post it though. <laughs> Shut up. You know I'll be editing um weeks later. <laughs> oh well, can we like stay in there or something? Well, we got room. Oh my god, spilled on me! So where's she going? Beat <laughs> my Okay. I made a little mess. Okay, here yeah. she is. Y'all. God. God. Did, did you knock yours down too? Yeah. Yeah, but did you see how he was holding them limes? <laughs> Cheers. I'm just well, going to get the table, so we can do it at the table. I'm literally missing that. Right in the front. Mm -hmm. This stain is cute. Okay, it's giving Yeezy. I love it. Yo, <laughs> what the hell? It's like hella thick. What kind of fucking strawberries is that? <laughs> We're back at our favorite place. If I can tell, we look up together. If you don't like that, we do like blue mint, the gray food. Let me do that. Moustache. It's mustache. Ask them on culture. Ask her. We're not doing this. Exactly, again. because you don't want to be wrong. TYC. You know it's mustache. Mm. Mm. All up under me. 
Oh my god, look how crisp it is on my nails. Wow, that's nice. I know, nail can. Why is it coming through? Yes, I'm gonna get my But it's broken. <laughs> hey guys, it's your, can you guys see this? Okay. It's your girl, Lasha Washa. <laughs> the real influencer. Come on, we're just gonna give you a little insight. This is gonna be behind the scenes on how we get our content. Come with us. <laughs> now you have to chop it out. And <laughs> Basically, not happening. Basically, <laughs> they're gonna see all of this. Basically. This is Laren, aka Jim Bay, the manager. Just she been taking my pictures. That's why they've been they've been doing numbers today. She said it looked like my picture looked like it was taken on a tripod. But you see how you tried me. I didn't try you. You know, you trying me right now because you filming when I look like shit and you look like the suit, but I look like the dude. But you already knew what it was. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, Laren, let's take pictures. Oh my god, my, lace, my look, lace is literally turning it's, green. It's, it's it oxidized. It That's oxidized not fair. as soon as I left the house. What's that mean? It like turned darker. It wasn't like you this earlier. You don't like earlier. that or you do? No. <laughs> Is I your scalp tell. darker? Oh. It's my butt being out for me. Look at her booty. Look at the booty. It's so nice. Huh? Well, it's not a That's lot. That's cute. It's enough. Okay, aesthetic. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh my god, wait. Okay, so I'm gonna place you guys right here so you guys can see. You can see what the thunder do. <laughs> Me's like Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's. Oh. Really being scared. <laughs> I was really scared. I just wanna see. Why do you look like that? I don't know how to do it. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was running out like last week. Tell me where have you been? He came out of hiding, girl. Don't act like I'm your man. I'm just a fan. You don't hold me. We literally have one of like three places to go to take pictures and we have exhausted it. And then sometimes I'd be like, okay, me and you could just drive to Buckhead, but like that's a lot to take a picture. I mean, it's. But really, like, once we find a spot, it'd be three. Pictures and be done. Exactly. See what it looks like. Yeah, we can see what it looks like against the brick wall. It's a brick. back home and I had a very busy day um, as you guys saw earlier I recorded a video I only ended up recording one video not two only because the second video was my perfume haul and that honestly required too much talking and I got into a mood and I didn't want to talk so instead <laughs> I went and got um, drinks and food with Aaliyah and Ju came back I got a picture I made sure I got a picture well, I took a picture of my sister earlier, but my sister was being such a Debbie Downer. My pictures, my picture wasn't terrible, but like it wasn't my favorite. I don't know if it was because I used my phone, but it just was kind of lackluster to me. But like it was like a cute little casual chill moment, but it just wasn't. But I took pictures when we got back. You guys saw my outfit and stuff and those came out so much better. So I'm going to post those tomorrow. And that might be my last picture for the weekend. And then restart next week. So I'm about to go to bed. My room literally is a catastrophe, but I'm so 
tired. I don't even want to do anything. And I'm going to finish watching um, put these jeans over here. Are these? Those are mine, yeah. Um, I started watching this show on Netflix called Beauty and the Baker. And it's just so cute. I love it. So um, I'm going to finish watching this episode, go to bed, and sleep peacefully. And yeah. So I might see you guys tomorrow, I might not. Tomorrow's Thursday, and I actually have kind of a busy work day. It's just like kind of stressing me out because like in my head, I only work Fridays through Saturdays, but I never like block off any day except Monday. So I don't know why I'd be so shocked when I have clients on weekdays. Oh, I don't know why I turned off the lights so quick. But yeah, I'm gonna watch this. I need to be charging my phone while I'm doing this. I'm gonna call it a day. One eternity later. Hey guys, so um, there's been a huge gap in the vlog. Literally the last clips that you guys saw were from like two, two and a half weeks ago. I just haven't vlogged because I've real life been like super duper busy. Let me put this hat on for y'all talk about me, Chad. Um, I've been like super, super busy and um, it just didn't require vlogging. I know I'm supposed to like be keeping you guys up with, you know, my life and stuff but sometimes it's just not possible so as you can see we back i haven't even worn this hat in weeks because i've been so busy like i've been having it together but vlogging just has not been a priority so we got a new camera i don't know if you can see the difference in quality um i haven't played with it adjusted the settings or anything yet um, only thing I did was turn the softness, like the skin smoother down because I didn't want to look back and look crazy. But I haven't adjusted like the lighting or anything like that. So um, I'm about to go get my hair done. This is going to be like a mini maintenance type of situation. Um, I don't know, but I'm about to get my hair done. Um, I got a wax last week, but forgot. Well, my camera actually, I'm going to show you guys my camera when we get in the car. I'm going to get it fixed. And then, yeah, I'm going to get it fixed. And then, yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm about to get my hair done. I'm about to get a U part on. I'm so excited because I'm so over frontals and I'm so over doing my hair. So for the next few days, I'm going to be wearing this U part from Beauty Forever. So um, this video is not going to be the sponsored video. I'm going to do a separate video because, I don't know. I'm just going to put it on my other channel. So if you want to see who's doing my hair and how it's going to look in the process, make sure you guys go to my other channel to check that out because you guys do kind of like the um, hair vlogs too. So I'm not going to free today. I'm going to somebody else. Um, I booked an appointment, so I'm about to leave. So let me show you guys my little OOTD. It's really like trash. <laughs> but, and I have this new little like tripod thingy. It's kind of cool. So I have on this like biker set um, with this like loose shirt. And then I have on these Adidas. I don't know what they're called. These ones, what are they called? I have these on. And then um, I have on my hat just so that I don't look crazy leaving the house. And then I'm wearing this pink bucket bag by Ralph Lauren. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. I've never worn it, but it's just deep enough for my um, for my camera to go in and um yeah i haven't worn it yet so and today's fragrance is adults by killian um it's not really a daytime scent but i really like it personally i've been wearing this body butter by um soap and glory but it has um fig and pimento and you guys know a note in the killian's is fig so when I wear this lotion with this, it kind of softens it. It makes it a little bit sweeter. And every time I wear it, everybody's like, oh my God, you smell so good. I'm like, Killian Poo, the one in the black, the black packaging, not the other one. I love these. So um, I'm trying to get used to this camera, so sorry. And then now I, my viewfinder is right here versus on top. So now I'm going to look really cross-eyed when I look over this way versus looking this way. So don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to leave. Oh yeah, it's 11 I'm about to leave before I'm late. She's like 20 minutes away, which is great. And yeah, so I will see you guys when I get to the hairstylist. Bad, bad, bad. 
cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dude. My niggas are savage. Ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Ranger. Back home and my hair looks bomb AF. Okay, I love it. I have not had any kind of like leave out in a while. And your girl might be back, which is so crazy because I literally... Um, oh, let me fix this little tripod. I'm getting used to this new camera, by the way. So, or should I pull it back? I don't know. So, let me tell y'all what my plan was. My plan was to get this, this U part in, right? And then, um, I had a few more wig installs to do. Then I was going to do a half up, half down. Keep that in for like a week. And then I was going to do the big chop. But I'm like... I don't know. I just don't know. It's like getting hot. I don't want to have to wear wigs all summer, but then I can also wear my short hair. It's not that deep. I don't know. I'm still deciding, but like my hair is so damaged. It just needs a fresh start. Like, like it just needs, it just needs a fresh start, but I'm not going to hold y'all. I love how Jasmine did my hair, but because my hair is so short, she used this black spray to like blend everything in, which works, but I hate the texture of it. And y'all know how I am about textures. So I literally washed my leave out and just put it right back. Okay. So, um, yeah. And I actually took a nap when I got home and I've been editing and I'm about to wash these wigs. So I have a wig sale on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So, um, yeah, I have a lot to do, but I just got a package from da -da -da -da. Skims, <laughs> but I didn't go crazy. Um, the neon collection came out, so I feel like this is the worst freaking angle. Let me back this up. So the neon collection came out, and you know I was gonna go ham, and I was like, Tasha, really? Like you don't need all this neon, like you really don't. So I got the neon bodysuit, which you guys know I love her bodysuits, and this one's like a square neck, I think it is with the low back but I have like I needed a pink bodysuit I kept saying like I need a hot pink shirt for this um hairstyle that I'm doing that I was supposed to do last month but it just didn't happen like that um so I got this and then I got an orange one just to have in my closet um which the pink one I'm gonna wear again too but I I know specifically what I'm doing with that um and I got the orange one. It's very, very bright, though. Like, I haven't had anything this bright in forever. But I just love the quality of her bodysuits. They're just so, like, ugh, they're amazing. And I've been wanting some of the um, Wolford. Wolford. Why can't I say it? Wolford. 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 Whoa. Now, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> but um, the bodysuits, they come in, like, um, like, small A small b like small but like b cup and they don't have large with d cup they have large with c cup but i need a d cup because i am a double d i know it doesn't look like it but i am so last time i looked they didn't have any but i'm gonna check again um and see if i can get a few of those because i really want a white one and a black one i like body suits and then i got this um it's like a long dress it's like long slip dress it's like a night dress or in the house just oh this is so nice i cannot wait to wear a small oh my gosh i definitely ordered this in a large and they definitely gave me a small um this is really nice though i couldn't wait to wear this wow i'm gonna double check my order slip oh yep yeah, this says a large on the outside but it's a small on the inside so I'm gonna have to send this back because this was motherfucking $78. It was $78. So Skim needs to get it together. You know what? What time is it? I need to. I have so many packages to return. I keep buying shit and it's just a no go. Yeah, so. Ugh, so annoying. So I'm editing right now. You guys see my mom's candles behind. She's gonna be launching her candles this month. So make sure you guys are following me on social media um slash social media on instagram um i'll be posting her stuff on there she's been working so hard like getting everything together so that is going to be launching this month mm -hmm, it is so i'm going to finish editing this video and hopefully maybe i'll take a picture today we're going to see how i feel i just haven't been feeling in the picture taking mood so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow actually i'm done vlogging for the day i will see you guys tomorrow 
when I am getting my brows done. I don't know if I'll be able to get my brows done because I have this pimple coming up in my brow. And when you get your brows laminated, you cannot have any kind of um, pimples or scars or anything. So I don't know how this is going to go. And then I finally get my nails done. Y'all, let me tell you about my nails. I have not seen y'all in so long. Look at my nails. These are the ugliest things I've, I've probably ever had on my nails. They're like little sloth nails. I went to this place close to me. One, because my lady wasn't available. And two, like everybody on Instagram be raving about this place. And I'm like, oh, it's an Alpharetta 2. Like, yo, it's bending a little bit. I'm like, oh, it's an Alpharetta 2. Bet, like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. So I go, I kind of stalk the page, see who's good. So I book with the girl. And I wanted like the little like Powerpuff Girl hearts. And y'all, when she was doing them damn hearts, they were literally like, they look like a three-year-old were doing them. And I, I let her finish. I like to trust the process and let people do what they do. So I'm like watching her. I let her do one heart. The first heart was great. Second heart, okay, cool. Third heart, fourth heart, fifth heart. I said, oh, no, 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 not on my hands, you don't. So I was like, hey, like, you know, we don't have to do the hearts. I don't really like how it's coming out. Um, you can just do the French tip because I was going to do one one nail with the um, heart and then the rest was just going to be this pink French tip, which look at how look at how curved my nail is like that is not my forte. I don't know. But um, all I ended up having her do was draw like a, a pink line because she had like three or four different pinks, just a pink line underneath to make it look like something. because you guys know I like my nails simple, but I like a little... But everybody's been complimenting my nails. Yeah, I'm like, uh, no, I will be going back to JoJo. I won't do that again. And then I hated my pedicure. Like, let me tell you, this is nobody's fault. But my toes grow a certain way, especially my second toe. My middle toe kind of grows like it's long. It's just longer. Like you guys see, my middle finger is long, my longest. So my middle toe is long, but it kind of grows at a curve. So my nail sometimes grows at a curve. So you have to like paint my toenail a certain way. And Debbie knowing, she did not know. And it's literally like, my toenail is literally like, y'all, it looks so bad. It's chipping. My toenails never chip. I get regular polish on my toe. I don't personally like uh, gel polish on my toes because I get my nails done so often. I just don't. It's just unnecessary. Um, but y'all, it's chipping and it's cracking all of my toes. It was just a really bad experience. But I got my first jelly pedicure at this place and I didn't really care for it too much. It felt like I was putting my foot in grits. Everybody raves about it, but honey, give me the hot water with the soap and the bubbles, okay? Period. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow when I get ready. Um, that's all I have to do. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'm supposed to be doing my friend's makeup tomorrow at some point and then i think i'm supposed to be going to happy hour with um my friends too so we'll see hopefully honestly <sighs> this is no shade to any of them hopefully everybody just can't <laughs> so i can just come home it's like once i'm out i'm fine but like leading up to stuff like i just have been so like weird like i just don't want to be around anybody and it's just really 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 <laughs> weird there's no beef, there's no nothing, but I just need a breather. I feel like I've been going nonstop and I feel like um, I was telling my, I've been telling my friends, like, I feel like all of May felt like one big ass day. Like it, it wasn't like nothing was separate. It was like, oh, take a nap, wake up, repeat. Like, and you guys see, I've been going so hard. Like content has been coming every single day. Like I've been like getting it together. Like I'm just trying to stay on track, stay you know, focused and stuff, but it's been so hard. And I've just been having a lot of stuff going on, you know, mentally, um, other stuff, which I probably talk about later. I mean, it's not like, mm -hmm, I don't know, but it's just been a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just trying to like get back on track and just kind of focus. And, oh, it's so hard when you're dealing with stuff like inter internally, but you have to show face. You know, and I've been creating content. That's another reason why I haven't been vlogging because it's like, I don't want to come on here boohooing, child. Because last week, like, I'm laughing at me and my friends have been laughing at it all week. But literally, last week, I was like crying every day. Like, it was just, it was just so overwhelming. Like, life was just overwhelming. I just couldn't take it no more. So I just kind of had to like reset, you know, 
and refocus and all that so yeah that's pretty much my life right now you guys i might do um kind of like an updated q a type of thing or life update i don't know it depends on how much of myself i'm willing to expose honey but i also feel like me talking to some of you guys might help some of you guys because i feel like i was going through some things that only i could deal with um and nobody else would really understand um but like it's just it's just growing pains it's just you know you live and you learn and all that kind of stuff but i'm talking in code but i didn't yeah. anyways so i will see you guys tomorrow tell me how you guys think about this camera so far i feel like it's giving better quality like absolutely it's giving 4k are we in 4k i hope we are because <laughs> i feel like i want to cut my hair like right here let me stop i this is this is my problem i literally i feel like i sometimes have a personality disorder and i hope that does not offend anybody but literally like i have to change my hair every day it's not even it has nothing to do with me even being an influencer or um, hair and like doing hair videos and stuff. Like I literally change my hair every day, whether I record or not, like I have to change my hair. The install has to be popping. I have to be very busy to not change my hair. you like, it's sick. It's literally sick. So uh, yeah, I'm uploading this video. I'm about to revise this other video, y'all, cause I made a huge mistake. I don't even wanna talk about it. And um, I will see y'all tomorrow. I've said that like five times already, but I will really see y'all tomorrow because I'm not vlogging for the rest of the day. Okay, okay. Okay guys, so I'm walking into Mindy. I'm about to get my brows done. Um, I kind of was rushing this morning. That's why I didn't vlog before, but we're here now. <laughs> done nice and laminated and tinted i did go a little darker with the tint this time because last time it was actually literally perfect but it faded away quicker than i would like and i just would like to not have to like fill in my brows a lot or um do too much i literally that's the whole point of me getting my brows laminated is because it's an easier process for me and it just looks a little better in my personal opinion i was laying down so my hair got slightly messed up i don't even know where i'm going um but yeah so these are the brows i didn't um my eyes are closed most of the time that's why i didn't um record too much but make sure you guys check out mindy i left her stuff on the screen and i'll leave it down below her instagram so you guys can check out her work but she is bomb and you guys don't be scared of the tint like the tint is like dark but it's like really not the worst thing it literally fades in a few days uh, but your hairs are still like dark so this is the thing it washes off of your skin because the tint does adhere to your skin a little bit but your hairs are still dark my brow hairs need a little zhuzh they need a little a little darkness you know what i'm saying so anyways i'm gonna focus and drive and i will see you guys when i get to the nail shop probably gonna stop and get um like a refresher or something from starbucks um or food you know because they're soaking these off these are coming off and i'm starting over i'm trying i'm gonna get these soaked off get a manicure then get a new set and get a pedicure so yeah that's what's gonna happen so i will see y'all later <laughs>
So, I have my phone propped up so ratchetly. It's not even funny. I need to get a car mount now that I have like an official camera. I need to get a car mount. Yeah. So anyway, so I went to Ulta literally for one thing. Um, I needed to get some... I needed to get some brush cleaner for work. I normally use Cinema Secrets, but I forgot to order some online. And I didn't feel like going to... Um, narcosco because it's just a hassle i can't just like walk in i have to literally call them pay over the phone wait pick it up like it's curbside i could have just said curbside but it's curbside so it's just really really and has and hassle a hassle for me to go in there so i went to ulta to see if they had any brush cleaner like a quick brush cleaner um i have enough brushes at work um for like the amount of clients that i have but sometimes i just need to spot clean a brush or two throughout the day and the alcohol just don't be working so this is the only one that i saw this is the real technique um instant brush cleaner can you guys see this it's probably not gonna zoom in oh it did okay come on camera then i picked up this um juvia's place bronzer a lot of people have been talking about this it's about time they came out with a bronzer and i got the dark i hope this is the right shade because i will literally walk back in there <laughs> they had a dark and then they had a deep and deep i don't feel like they have a very wide range as far as foundation so i doubt i need to go as deep as deep so yeah this is going to be just fine it looks lighter on here but it actually like this is darker than coconati and this is like mocha mommy in real life like so it's pretty zark and it's a nice pan size i thought they were super tiny so this is i think child let me tell you i just see picking up stuff and i don't think i have the prices this was 15 dollars i just keep buying stuff and i don't need to be buying stuff this is not a time to be buying stuff unnecessarily i need to have self-control it's y'all it's just really out of hand i literally filed my taxes for the first time in three years the other day like i literally met the deadline and you know what i could say that now because can't nobody come after me because i did what i had to do okay and i really just looked at the amount of money that i make and i spend and it's actually really disgusting so um i'm trying to get it together i'm trying to like cut back on my spending as i show you guys unnecessary stuff that i bought from um ulta but like all jokes aside i really am gonna cut back because it's actually really disgusting and um, i i how could i say this i make too much money and have nothing to show for it so <laughs> i need to get my life together all i got is bs stuff like this but anyways that's neither here nor there so anyways um then i got look i say all this after i buy what i want and it's just like when i buy stuff that i want i'm like i just need to work harder <laughs> so that i can do what i need and buy what i want um then i got this lip liner this is like the bronze collection i got this lip gloss in the shade brown sugar i don't know why i literally have this already or something like it but child i like how it's like double packaged like it's in the box and then it's sealed like i really like that because child sometimes you be opening stuff out the box and it it's used i don't like that and then I got this lip liner in the shade Brownie. I really like their other one. This one's probably sealed off too. I really like their other one, Cola. So hopefully this is another nice brown situation. And then, um, I have been wanting this for so long, but I just couldn't justify spending this amount of money on it. Um, but I got the KKW. Who's calling me? Julian, I'll call him right back. <laughs> Um, so I couldn't justify spending $45 on this KKW body foundation. I have a lot of marks on my legs from shaving. Like I'm just literally scarred for life. I don't shave my legs anymore, but I just, shaving used to F me up. So I'm finally getting it together. I've been waxing for like two years straight. So it's getting a little better. I do still have marks on my legs. And I have like marks on my shoulders and stuff. So I'm getting that together. Um, but you know, for the days where I want to pop out or I want to take a really nice picture and look smooth, I don't really like editing too much because um, it'd be looking like Play Doh y when you edit it too much. Um, so I have the Tarte. Is it tart? I have the tart one and that one works really good and it doesn't transfer. But I heard a lot of things about the KKW and they were 50% off. So I got the 
dark and deep dark because I'm probably gonna have to mix it I'm all different tones so this one might be too light for my legs this one might be too dark for my chest it just depends and then I also got the um, skin perfecting body shimmer in bronze it just adds a little sheen to it give you that glow and then I got the brush as well because why not and yeah that's what I got from Ulta I'm about to call you back see what he talking about what, what you want to call me no you called me you no, called me. I did not call you you called me but how can I help you thank you for calling me today oh you see how I people be wanna... people be delusional child they be like you called me now hey, well, bitch, I the doctor, so cut the camera off yeah. All right, so I am back home, and I have been sitting here for the past like 15 minutes, um, popping these because these all came wrapped. So I had ordered some fragrances, um, like actually on Sunday, and what's today? Thursday. They got here pretty quick. So I got these from the Memorial Day sale. These are KKW fragrances. Not me buying all this Kim Kardashian stuff. Um, but yeah i just wanted to smell them i saw Aaliyah um show them in her hall and she said they smelled really good and it was like a memorial day sale they were 25 percent off then because it was my first kkw um fragrance order i got an additional ten dollars off so i got three fragrances for like 70 something dollars you can't beat that because um perfume is expensive and i actually literally just i'm sorry if this is annoying somebody i just can't stop oh my gosh but um, I just filmed a fragrance haul and I'm actually gonna redo it because for some reason it was blurring up the whole entire time. Like it was just blurring and I just don't like how it looks and I just have to just redo it. I don't really like my makeup in it either. So that's another video I'm gonna have to redo. So yeah, I'll probably redo that on Monday, which sucks. But it is what it is, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the fragrances. So this first one is called Night Iris. I don't know the notes or anything of these. Um, I wish I had like a piece of, oh, perfect. I have some tissue paper, child, because I've been buying tissue paper every time I go into Target. Well, not every time I go to Target. Every time I like get somebody a gift, I buy new tissue paper, knowing damn well that I have tissue paper already. So anyways, I'm just going to... This is so ratchet, but you know, you do what we have to do. <laughs> now me making my own little test strips. I don't want to spray it on me because I don't want them to clash. So this one is Night Iris, and I think this packaging is so cute. I like don't want to throw this away. It comes like this, and it's with uh, Jeff Lethem. I don't know who that is. I think he's a designer. I don't know. Call me uncultured. I don't know. Um, but it opens like this and it's super cute. I just love how this looks. It's so cute. Um, this is definitely like cute for display. Um, actually, you guys can see it. it's definitely cute for display. I love this. It's very minimal and you just pop it off like this. So let's see. Oh, I sprayed all over my hand, y'all. I actually like this one. It honestly smells like, um, it smells like something. It smells like something from Bath and Body Works. It smells like the purple one that I used to wear, not Love Spell. It's something else that's purple. I'm literally smelling this for the first time with you guys, so. Then I have Jasmine Air. It looks like these. And there's literally nothing on the bottles. Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom, so you're just going to have to remember what is what. But you can remember by the color, I guess. This one smells good. I like this one. It's very, um, it's very light. This will go really good. I just got the Nest um, perfume oil, the Jasmine scent. And this would spray on really nice with that because I mixed the oil with my um, lotion because I feel like that's the best way to use it instead of dabbing oil in random spots. This would mix really nice with it. This is very, very light. Okay, okay. 
And then lastly, I have Desert Rose. That's cute. Yeah, that night, um, Iris, that smells really good. I feel like I'm not going to like that this one that much because I'm not really a fan of rose scents. Yeah. I could have done without this one. It smells like a powdery rose. This one's definitely going on display. And luckily, because it's like nice and nude. Um, but yeah, this one is not my favorite. All right, guys. Um, I'm just sitting here scrolling on my phone. So, oh my gosh, look at uh, my mom's candles, you guys. Well, not candles. She has wax melts. Um, she's been getting together all her wax melts. Let me not do that. Her wax melts. Those are room spray. She has candles. They're over that way. Oh, this perfume smells lovely, y'all. Um, but yeah, so make sure you guys are following so you guys can stay updated because she is on it, okay? And my mom has to do what she has to do. Hey! <laughs> Let them see, periods. Okay, okay, oh, give, give it. Mm, I don't no. know the words. <laughs> I'm not really sure how vlogging is gonna go today because I've had my camera on the charger since yesterday and it's like an adapter to the computer. And I'm used to just plugging it in the wall. So today or tomorrow, I'm going to go to Best Buy and get um, an extra battery and an adapter so that we don't have any vlogging problems. But for right now, we got one bar. We got one bar, but um, we're about to go to a very late brunch. It is now pushed back to five o'clock. Um, it's a surprise for Aaliyah. Her birthday was four days ago. Today's Sunday the 6th. So um, she was out of town. So now she's back and we've been like, lit, 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 lit. we're just doing like a little surprise brunch for her. So yeah, I'm about to leave and I can't stay there long. I'm actually going to have to go to my friend's house because my other friend just got married and she's gonna be moving away. So it's just like a little, you know, goodbye celebration. And let me tell you, I'm gonna be in my house by 10 o'clock because I'm not playing with these girls today because I got stuff to do, things to do, and I'm just, yeah. So um, I just put back on my wig. I was really struggling. I had put on this other wig and it was so ugly. It was just not matching the vibes. And it was a closure, but it was a four by four and it was just, 
oh, it was just not giving. So I put on this wig from RPG Show. This is with Cos Spence um, collab. He had actually sent me a wig. I was like, oh my God, you sent me a wig, child. But like, I love this freaking wig. It's, I do not have a regular black mid-length wig. Mom, you're loud, you're loud. Um, so this is like perfect. So I'm wearing this. I decided to put on some bamboos to give my outfit a little something, something. And I have on this little um, shirt, right? It's just giving really summer vibes. This is like shirt and the back is super cute. Do you guys see the detailing on the back? You guys see it? And I have on my Joe jeans, shorts. And then today I'm finally wearing my Tom Ford um, with the lockets on them. You guys, you guys saw them, you know, the little denim ones. And then I have this denim bag from Sheen. I really wish I had my uh, branded Blackwood denim trunk bag. That would have been a moment, but it's not here yet. So, you know, his stuff was like on pre-order. I'm gonna wear my Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I feel like it just fits the occasion today. I can't believe my camera's dying. This really sucks. Cause I purposely worked my outfit around this so that I could have a big bag to vlog. So I will see you guys in a few. Bye. Hey, hey, say hey to Kayla. She looks Hello. cute. Period. So does you. It's a moment. Thanks. And we're trying to figure out where we're going to take pictures at. It's the shoe for me. It's the what? The shoe. <sighs> it's like, I like I like that little plant thing, but I don't like the tree. We're at this that place called Rocksteady, you guys. Maybe I'll show you guys later. So <laughs> we're at Rocksteady. Say hi to Chandler. idea why my camera is not charging i'm literally about to go to best buy today and get a little adapter because plugging up to the computer is not it's just not it so i'm doing that um today's monday by the way which is going to be the last day of the vlog just a heads up in case i forget to close out um and then i'm going to resume vlogging from tuesday and then we're going to start back on our weekly vlog stuff okay it's just we got vlogs in here from the end of may i mean from the beginning of may uh, really interrupted earlier because it was dying but it finally started charging but i'm still going to best buy so i finished packing those wig orders and i actually want my mom to come with me because i just don't want to be alone today i just don't know my skin looks crazy um yeah so i'm about to do that i need to return this dress from windsor i went to a wedding last friday oh my gosh time's going by so fast i went to a wedding last friday and i had ordered this dress off windsor and it just was not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm gonna go return that at the mall instead of uh, shipping it back. It's just a lot easier. And then um, I'm gonna stop at Best Buy. So that's on my agenda for the day. And yeah, so let's go if my mom would hurry up. And I just have on sweats today, guys. Just, you know, a little real dusty. And now we're at Whole Foods. My mom went in. I didn't want to go in. I'm tired of going in, but it looks like it's about to rain again. But you guys, I know I was supposed to show you today. That was the whole point of me vlogging on this Monday. But we're going to start again tomorrow for a whole new vlog, a whole new vibe. And I did not get my thing from Best Buy. They didn't sell the chargers in Best Buy, so I have to order it online. And hopefully it can get here by this week. Mm. But yeah. But um, thanks so much for watching my vlog. I'm sorry this one was chaotic and unstructured and the quality changed probably and the sounds changed probably. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Nail cam before we leave. Fire. Did I show you guys my nails? I don't think I showed you guys my nails. Oh my god, you guys. This is my nails. They look so freaking fire. I don't even remember. They're so cute. I freaking love them. 
but um thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next vlog we're gonna try to stay on a weekly schedule from here on out so look out for that and bye i love you guys